Happy Saturday, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to my news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Barbara Bush funeral today. Trump won't be there. Melania and former presidents will. Barbara Bush will be laid to rest in Texas today as mourners, including dignitaries from across the nation and around the world, gather to remember the former First Lady's life and legacy. More than 1,500 guests, including former presidents and First Ladies, are expected to fill St. Martin's Episcopal Church in Houston on Saturday morning for the funeral service. Barbara Bush, who died on Tuesday at the age of 92, had requested in her last wishes a modest funeral at the Gothic-style cathedral, where she and her husband, former President George H. W. Bush, were devoted members for decades. Barbara Bush's casket on Friday arrived at St. Martin's, the nation's largest Episcopal church, where she lay in reopes as the public was invited to pay respect from noon to midnight, according to to the G.O. H. Lewis and Sons Funeral Home in Houston. The Reverend Russell Leverson Jr. and the Reverend Dr. Peter Cheney will co-officiate of Saturday's service, which is set to begin at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Barbara Bush's Son, former Florida Governor Jeb Bush will deliver a ecology along with her longtime friend Susan Barker and historian Joe, according to a statement from the Bush family. First Lady Melania Trump will attend the funeral service Saturday on behalf of the first family, White House Deputy Press Secretary Lindsey Walters said in a statement, to avoid disruption due to added security of and out of respect for the Bush family and friends attending the service, President Trump will not attend. Similarly, in 2016, then-President Barack Obama did not attend the funeral of former First Lady Nancy Reagan, while his wife Michelle Obama did. Sitting presidents have rarely in recent decades gone to the funerals of former First Ladies, according to factcheck.org. A Jeff of Anna Berg Public Policy Center. Following today's service, a funeral procession will bring Barbara Bush's casket to the George Bush Presidential Library and Museum near Texas A and M University in College Station for a private service where she will be buried in a family plot beside her daughter, Robin, who died of leukemia at the age of three in 1953. The Texas A&M Corps of Cadets are expected to line Barbara Bush Avenue outside the library to pay tribute to former 
first lady. And here is a timeline of Barbara Bush. I'll take a look at that timeline real quick, as you can see through the years. Barbara Bush served as First Lady from 1989 to 1993. She died shortly after deciding to forego further medical treatment for her failing health. Former President George H. W. Bush is broken hearted to lose his beloved Barbara, his wife of 73 years, according to Jean, Chief of Staff at the 93-year-old former President's office. Their eldest child, former President George W. Bush, described his mother as a fabulous first lady and a woman unlike any other who brought liberality, love, and literacy to millions. To us, she was so much more, he said in a statement after her death. Mom kept us on our toes and kept us laughing until the end. I'm a lucky man that Barbara Bush was my mother. Our family will miss her dearly. And now let's take a listen to the video from ABC News. In just a few hours, family and friends will pay tribute to Barbara Bush, celebrating her life as well as her influence. And they are gathering in Houston this morning for a private funeral. Amy Robach is in Houston with how the former First Lady will be honored. Amy, good morning. Hey, good morning to you, Tom and Paula. That's right, this morning the Bush family is preparing to celebrate the life of their beloved mother and grandmother, former First Lady Barbara Bush here at St. Martin's Episcopal Church. We know that leaders from around the world and here at home will be attending this private funeral service. About 1,500 people will gather here later this morning. The Obamas, the Clintons, and First Lady Melania Trump will all be in attendance. We know that President Trump will not be attending this service this morning. Now, following the service, there will be a procession about 96 miles northwest of the Houston area to College Station, where First Lady Barbara Bush will be laid to rest there at her husband's library, the George Bush Library, alongside her daughter, Robin, who passed away just before turning four. Now, we know that expected to speak this morning at the services, Jeb Bush will be speaking along with Mrs. Bush's dear friend Susan Baker and on Friday nearly 2,500 people here from the Houston area came to pay their final respects to the former first lady and we know that President H.W. Bush alongside his daughter Doro were there to personally greet those mourners and I know you all pointed this out but many of those mourners donning Mrs. Bush's signature mm -hmm. pearl necklace. You can really feel the love that people are sending to the family, Amy. Such a tough time for them, but a little bit of positive news as well. There certainly was just two days after the former first lady passed away, her granddaughter, Lauren Bush Lauren, gave birth to her second son, mm. Max. And it was a pretty beautiful thing because Lauren's father, Neil, uh, wrote this on Facebook. He was saying, thank you for your condolences, but then he wrote, the circle of life, God is good. The circle of life indeed, Amy. Thank you so much for your reporting from Houston. And we're going to have live coverage of Barbara Bush's funeral, anchored by Chief Anchor George Stephanopoulos, beginning at noon Eastern right here on ABC. Okay, and there you go on that video and that report. And we're going to bring you live stream coverage of the funeral starting at noontime this afternoon.
afternoon. That does it for my news report right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Saturday, and I'll see you back here later on today for another news report and for the Riley King Newscast. Goodbye, everyone.